end election rigging. There's a lot of talk about election rigging these days, from all sides. This is a distraction from the real election rigging that's been happening in plain sight for centuries. Those with power make it easier for themselves to stay in power. And there's a very easy way to do that in the United States. It's called gerrymandering, and it's a bug in our constitution. People who are elected into power are in charge of deciding the boundaries of election districts. This means they get to, you've got it, choose which people get to vote in their next election. There are a lot of ways they can do this to make sure they win again next time. They can pack as many of the other party's voters into one district so that they can win all the other districts. This goes against the entire purpose of democracy, that the people are supposed to decide who represents them, not the other way around. We can end this practice by taking the power to determine how people get into power away from the people in power. It's actually quite simple, because the problem has been solved with math. How do we make sure everyone's vote makes as much of a difference as it can? How do we make sure people don't skip going to the polls because they think the race is already over and done with? Either their vote isn't needed, or it won't make a difference. The math is actually pretty simple. How do we make sure as few votes go to waste as possible? This approach has been shown to result in elected officials that are less partisan and better reflect the people of distinct communities. Well, first, we take the number of votes that didn't end up mattering because they voted for the loser. What a shame. And then we add that to the number of votes who the winning candidate didn't even need because they already won. Those people could have just stayed home. In the 21st century, it's a simple task for a computer to figure out how to draw the boundaries of each district in a way that wastes the least people's votes. That's why we have a simple constitutional amendment for this. It requires that districts are drawn in a way that is both reasonable, in shape, and wastes the least votes, period. It's common sense, but the people in power don't really want us to take away their power to determine how people get into power. So, it's up to the people to come together to reclaim this fundamental right. The right to vote on who represents you in the halls of power. We can end gerrymandering. We can reclaim our elections together. What do you think? Comment below or join us for our fifth constitutional conversation on Thursday, August 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time where we'll discuss this more broadly to integrate your feedback as we continue to revise and refine the language of the Reconstitution. Join the conversation. See you there.